I think we're in the second core of season two now. They're not doing like a pause and it's a two core thing as we focus in the workshop battle arc now. And the opening, we watched that last night and... Oh, we are huffing on the copium. <laughs> the opening animation, it was animating. Things were moving. It was not slow motion PowerPoint slide, but openings always catfish and they want to show the best of the best. And let's just hope for the best, right? We should always hope for the best, but prepare for the worst because we've seen what the true nature of this studio is in season, you know, part two, a uh, part one of season two, but I got my fingers crossed. Please, please let this part two be good. Let's begin today's reaction. Aogami! This is just recap, right? He's gonna go talk to Dan now? Hmm. Are, you, are you actually gonna do a whole ass recap right now? <sighs> There's no way. I'm gonna skip ahead. There's... <laughs> this is just recap. This is, we've seen this. They're literally padding. They're fucking padding right now. And then it's the fucking opening. Ah, ah, ah. Here we go. Itaido Agero Agnes. Yor. Yah. Oh. Biore no Nakamada. Leak the real name there. Send me the decre. Kono Toreta. Nani Kawake Garden Daronga. Huh. Ore Samatats to Kumita Nara. Sorenari no merit to Ganaito. Okay, Prince. Kobo send the Tremotos Kotoka Dekir. Will he? Because I expect at the end of the workshop battle for us to reunite with their OG group. That's what I thought logically would just happen. Are we really sending him back after? Hmm. Maybe I'm off, man. I just expected that's how the story's gonna progress. あの、<笑> <笑>とにかく悪魔様もいなくなって使えるこんなチャンスメットになるせえな分かってるよだからってここでホイホイ乗ってったら舐められちまうだからうるせえってお前なんですかトイレだよ <笑> What do you want? Change the ways of the tower? Wow, the studio is fucking popping off with the bubbly animation. そしてビオレに会い力になりたいと思っただから攻防戦を目指しをしたつもりだったなのにいざビオレの仲間その上攻防戦で優勝って自分の成長が they're really building up Wangnan to be like support of Viol and just climb together. Maybe Blue Turtle also acknowledges? Kevin Pankins, bro. Say what you will about this anime. Like Kevin Pankins' soundtrack, this piano we're finding is hard carrying the scene. Blue Turtle's smart as fuck. He'll figure out a way. Did he just throw that can out without even drinking it? He took one sip and he threw the whole can out. 
He literally took one sip and threw the whole can out there, bro. He didn't chug that. I s there was so much liquid there. True. Yeah, until now. It would be 0% right now without Blue Turtle, but this dude can hard carry your ass. Oh, we love him. That's why we love this character, bro. Look at that confidence. Mm -hmm. This guy built あいつが戻ってくるかどうかも怪しいんだ。You have also no other cards to play。いろいろ言っちまったが、気を重くすることなんてないさ。友達に会いに行くだけなんだから。決まり、ビシッと勝ってやろうぜ。当然だ。There we go, the partnership. Put it on the live. Put it on the live. Good. There was no way he was going to just going to die. Kisama.俺と一緒に工房へ行こう。イフィア先生が待ってる。No。Yes。She I don't think Ran or Novik got the tr the adaptation they deserve, but something about them are just funny whenever just hanging out. Like Ran and Novik, like I don't know, just they're both kind of stupid, right? But they're also very powerful amongst the E rankers, and they're just just hanging out. Now they're just dual queuing here in a random team. Oh, what is this? Some new fog techniques? What do you got? Power of the thorn. Thorn. Thorn? Akshitomaga he probably just saying that to make sure that the fug doesn't like expect him to be weak, right? So that we can like save our friends, right? Because these are fug people. We need to remain like a cold-blooded killer. But Thorn, sound like Bomb is about to awaken some sort of new power, unless he has already. And in the opening, there was a scene at the very end, which was very ambiguous, where there was a, a picture of there, there was like Bomb, and then there was some some version of him in like a smoke shroud. And some motherfuckers are typing Thorn. So I'm gonna think, Thorn! He is the leader. この訓練はここまで。会話残っているが、今日のところは。今日のところは。この ぶっちゃけ自信ねえ。ビオレとトラスケ抜きって考えただけで不安で。みんな口には出さないけど。どうぞ。ちょっといい。昨日話してた戦術のこと。エミリーにも聞いてみたんだけど。だから一応修正バ
um, software engineering jobs where company secrets, like you shouldn't paste this shit into ChatGPT. You expose someone to the code base, you're just giving it to them. It's confidential information. <laughs> どこ行くんだよ。練習。はあ。私、病寮兄ちゃんとトラスケのおじさんに会いたいの。ああ。だから会えなくなるのは嫌だもん。I huh? kind of shit on this girl and Kosing, right? Because they seem to be very useless, but I mean, hey, I want them to like pop off. I want them to succeed in the workshop battle. <laughs> and this is like a big bro little sis situation, right? Who would have thought in the beginning of season two that like Prince and Yuseng would have this kind of relationship? Akuna, Toshi. Yuseng is older. What? He's older than Prince. Why? Okay. Why? No, I don't care about the fire uh, skills. That's what I'm not worried about. I just looked at the animation there. The frames were moving. The frames were actually moving. This gives me more cope, bro, for the actual fight. The movie. <laughs> like, that's all you had to do. In last season, like, like sorry, it's a part one of the season two. Why didn't you do this for every fight? You can do this. But why now? <laughs> like, it... Looked like I can believe that these are fire attacks. I can feel the impact. They're fast and they explode. Before, like you saw that Quatro fight. It, it's so bad. What the hell? The, the, the fluctuation in their animation is crazy. It's just like they can seemingly do it when they want to. Yes. I can't sleep for shit, bro. Everyone's just yelling. The walls are really thin. <laughs> Poor AK bro, ain't nobody fucking sleeping tonight. Okay, next day. Oh They're not going together? Okay, that's あ、頑張りすぎた結果っていうか。それがバカだって話になるか。そう。夜はこのチームで何年耐えたんだ。楽な気がして。おいおい、しっかりしろって。He's <laughs> Good point you bring up. Maybe Blue Turtle is fraudulent. Can he do it with the shitty team? Because like so far, like the people that he's commanded, his plans are very good, right? I'm not taking any of that away in season one. The thing that he did against, you know, um Quant, that blew my mind when he faked his own loss. But like he had very competent soldiers back then. Now we have a group of idiots. <laughs> if he can do it with this, he's a real deal. Oh, I see. We don't need to go with them because they're going to take a test by themselves. Novik ran. Oh, never mind. It's their thing. All right, man. They got the all star team here. I don't know who this is. It looks like Wadion 2.0. You know, just because the gimp suit thing, but Rabbit got like a si no, that's Costner's weapon. This team, yeah, this team is looking pretty stacked. Oh man, and this is Rachel's team, right? Well, no, it's not. What's Rachel then doing? Because this is Bunny Girl's team, but they're still operating on behalf of Fug. But Rachel also has backing from Fug, and then Apple and the other guy. How does that work? Shibi Su. <laughs> and Dorsey and Anak don't have voice actors this season. 
the contract is like until the workshop battle starts they they don't they like they don't start voice acting they don't talk they've seen the frames here like chibisu talks one line i haven't heard them talk yet bro they ain't paying the fucking voice actors until the workshop battle let's go say something hot you two come on yeah these three i have no clue about they look pretty interesting right the bunny a uh, cute girl with an octopus plushie and Mr. Delinquent Boxer guy? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You know what the funniest thing about Paracule is? This motherfucker could win the workshop battle. And like, I'm not even memeing at this point, right? Because that's the kind of character he is. He's a joke character that doesn't do anything. He just keeps failing his way upwards, right? Like, he is so incompetent, but he's so lucky. He just fails upwards. I could 100% see that. <laughs> He's gonna slay fucking... <laughs> Paracule's gonna be the one to slay fucking Zahara at this rate. <sighs> Imitation! We're in. The photo? Isn't that just an imitation card? And the photo, right? Yeah, they did it. They passed the test and... Hey, team photo, we did it. This is high tech. It's funny that it says high tech here. This is... Most of you kids in chat have never even seen this because this is fucking older than how old you are. Who's this? <laughs> Mr. Cigarette! Is this the guy that we saw that was chasing after him, Emily? I think I'm mistaking him though, because he that he wasn't like this rich person, right? Because I remember there was a guy with this kind of hair color with the glasses that was like looking for Emily, but I don't think this is it. There was that there was that one frame though. I remember that guy. He specifically, he seemed to know the truth of Emily. But this guy, no clue. Suits, gloves, cigarette, talking to some random dude. Is he fuck associated? Maybe. <sighs> We're cooked. This is our team. We're cooked. Yeah, you will. And she'll probably call you ugly. Endorse is just gonna shit on you unless you like that. You'll have to pay a lot of money for that autograph, though. She will give you if you pay a lot of money, I think. But you're the prince, right? You're the prince Zahad. Fuck her up. This doesn't really count as incest because the title of princess and prince. Well, don't they actually inject blood into people? The princesses, right? So maybe that does count. I don't know. But they're setting up Wangnan and Endorsi. I can't ever see Endorsi simping over Wangnan like she does for Bam, though, so. I think we're already cooked. <sighs> I know I've been shitting on Yiwa a lot because she deserves it. And now she's getting way better and she realizes her fault and she's becoming aware to correct herself. I think she's hotter than Endorsi. I do. I think that Endorsi isn't that good looking. Maybe it's her hairstyle. I don't know. But like, I, I think that Hwaryon is the most beautiful in this show. I think he was very beautiful too. And I don't think Endorsi is that hot. I don't know. Something about her hairstyle, maybe that's the flaw. Maybe I have a bias for long hairstyles, like Hwaryon and her too, but I just don't really see the Endorsi hype. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Gates of Babylon, Gilgamesh. That's some big ass ships, bro. Oh lore. Workshops top five biggest ships.
出発は2日後だひとまず宿で体をルービーが見える部屋トッピー攻防戦の間絶対に知られてはいけない That's right We're hiding blue turtles and bombs death now I didn't think about that okay この約束を破った時点で賭けは無効になる必勢たらどうなるかかるでしょう分かってるさちょっとは悲しんでくれてるかな I think most people would doubt it, right? Rack is definitely doubting. Shibisu is probably smart enough to figure it out, right? But for now, you have to pretend like Blue Turtle and Bomb is dead. They wouldn't believe it. They'd be sad though if you were actually dead. They have shackles on? You can never trust me. おお、yes sir。ですが、外したところで、どうせ行き場もありません。画面命令だぞ。エンコマニュース。ノベックランは so funny together man。They used to fucking beef a lot and they still do but they're just in sync。監視は続ける。余計なことを企んだ場合。All right。不自然なことって、こういうことか。Yo careful bro, don't push it too hard <笑>。What the hell is that? <laughs> the eyes. He saw the abyss in the eyes and he like drowned in the darkness. He got some crazy fuck eye shit going on. <laughs> Alright, don't fuck with them, bro. Manga keeps shouting gun his ass. <laughs> I love it when Kevin Penkins adds these like female choir voices. Like it's fucking Dune, you know? Like, it, someone, something about the female choir, it just makes it sound so, like, exotic and, I don't know. Fits like Tower of God. ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。ぜ。
pretty much the prelude to right getting into the workshop battle, huh? So everything is pretty much there. The stage has been set. I thought the stage would have been set last episode. And we're getting right into it. But yeah, I mean, th this is pretty much it. We are in the workshop battle arc. We're pretty much... I don't know if this counts, but next episode for sure, we're going to be in the second core of season two. And today's episode, pretty good again, because obviously there wasn't any fight scenes. It was more of, you know, the lore drops, the conversation with characters. And when Tower of God can just like use its deep characters to make the audience, you know, engage with the plot, it's, it's, it does well, right? But if you have the fights and, and there were some fights, not really. There were some action scenes like you are like training with the fire. There's not many things moving, but the flame effects itself were pretty promising. And again, I wouldn't use this as an example to think that Tower of God Season 2 is saved, but like, it's some good signals. Hope for the best, expect the worst, so that you can not be so disappointed when we do get catfish. but things are looking better than ever. So what's going on? There's like, a couple separate teams, right? Veal has his own team with the Fug people. Blue Turtle has his own team with Veal's ex-members. There's Shibisu, Anak, Endor, Sihats, and them, the OG crew. And there's also Rachel's team. I think she's going to participate. I would hope that she's going to participate. But we don't really know anything about them. Interesting that there's Fug backing over there too, even though we have Fug backing here. This guy with this Oni mask is definitely one of the most mysterious and interesting people in Veal's side right now. And the Thorn, right? I think one of the biggest lore drop is the power of the Thorn. I don't know what the hell a thorn does, but based on these like red lightning effects, I think we're gonna see Veal pop off with the thorn in this workshop battle, and that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.